Gosh, how did it all start? We weren't intending on starting a company 20 years ago. We were successful distributors. We actually thought that uh, that we were where we would be for a long time in terms of- We had a of, great life. <laughs> but this company was born out of a need and necessity. And so we definitely toiled over that, that decision between the four of us, uh, my father, Dr. Wallach, uh, Dr. Milan, Michelle, and myself. Thought it'd be easier to join another company, but no, you three were the holdout and said, absolutely not. We're gonna start our own company and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right and we're going to be distributor friendly. We had agreed that we would implement those things that companies should do on behalf of distributors, and that would be first and foremost with this company. Our first tagline really was uh, buy distributors for distributors. Oh, that was our first tagline, yes. Buy distributors for distributors. Our napkin wasn't a business plan. Our napkin was the distributor's rights. And, and that's what we started with first, and product was second. That particular napkin and business plan uh, involved uh, a way that if distributors could promote many different things to many different people and everybody got paid on everything that was promoted and sold and bought, you know, a variety of things that uh, they could cross promote within the same, same business model and everybody could receive commissions. We had the office in like the family room, right? The customer service. We had phone systems set up. We had Visa machines on every single desk. We had fax machines everywhere and we were shipping. When we were talking about the napkin and the goals we were writing out, we didn't ever want to have to have a distributor go through the expense or even the time of really having to operate their own office and shipping department. There was 20 employees all at one time, I think. But what happened from there is we quickly outgrew the ranch property. When we decided to build the, the headquarters, headquarters, it was out of necessity as well. So we actually bought the dirt, bought the, the land, and started with the, the idea to, to build a facility. And ultimately we did that. And that was one of the major uh, challenges and accomplishments early on. For me, most of the memories are based on the years that the kids were born. Jonathan was, was born first, and we kind of became full-time distributors with the birth of Jonathan. Uh, the birth of Zachary brought longevity and the, and the creation of our building. That's how I'm able to remember how old the building is. And the birth of Andrew really brought the last 10 years of, of success, you know, that, that we've really seen. We've built products from the ground up. I have the mineral makeup line, the botanical skincare line. Steve's built just about every other longevity product up from the ground up. We are forever gonna have challenges, I think, and we are forever going to be seeking that next level. I think we've had a ton of success in the last 20 years, but I also believe, and I think we believe that the next 20 years there's even more success.